Okay, on the docket today, lower intake manifold. So decided since uh, you know I have a pretty good flowing exhaust, very good flowing head, that it was time to do the lower intake manifold. I had had this thing for a little while. This is the uh, rotating up upper intake from uh, Big R Motorsports and with a 65 millimeter throttle body, but went ahead and got a CNC'd ported lower intake manifold from Bowport here. And the key difference is you can kind of see like the openings look similar-ish. Oh, let me get a light on there. But the big thing is you can see like all the radiuses are like much, much better. So you can't see it as much here on, on this runner for number four. But if you look down here, one of the middle runners, see how it's like a nice straight shot there. Kind of looking straight down on it. And then you can look, especially on that radius closer to the water jacket, it's much, much better. On top of that, we also have a lower, um, an opening here that doesn't look like it was hand ported like mine. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sure the, the way those bottom runners look on this part here, that makes it for you know, more equal flow through each one of them since uh, just the way that these intake manifolds are designed this is probably not the optimal way to port this part but looks a lot better and uh, once I get to the track we'll see how much difference this makes apparently dudes from Boatport say that they gain like like 70 some horse on a 500 wheel horsepower car going from basically an unported intake to their CNC one, but we'll see. And then you can also just notice too, see the, the bosses for the fuel injectors on two and three, those have been built up with welds so they could port them more underneath. Let's see if I can get a, a, <clears throat> a nice little shot of that. Oh yeah, you can see here, Nice little bump where that boss needs relief there on the intake. And up here, much, much better. Honestly, it looks like a lot of the difference is going to be in these two middle runners here. So, sorry, it's kind of hard for this thing to focus on any of this stuff in here. Let's see if I can get it to try and do it here. Yeah. Motion sickness. Maybe you guys get motion sick on this. Anyway, get it on the car, see what happens.